Greetings. You'll not get any further. The bridge is destroyed. It doesn't look uncrossable. There's just forests and meadows over there. Thanks for the warning. Need a witcher? You're a witcher? Yes. Sir? How long will the repairs take? About a month, if the Griggs kept away. A month? For a few small cracks? Not only repairs, I'll make it wider. The River Ghost will have the finest bridge in Temeria. Need a witcher? My life's work stands at the edge of oblivion. You alone can help. What's the problem? I had a dream. The river ghosts begged me for assistance. Me, a humble servant of the Lady of the Lake. A lifetime's chance to show my devotion. Hmm, sure. The old bridge I tended fell into ruin, yet the ghosts remained attached to it. They asked me to restore it to order. How can I help? What my son and I erect in daytime is destroyed each night. I'll wager it's damnable Griggs. My help will cost you. Do you wish 400 orans, or a book about spectres and the King of the Wild Hunt? Or you can have my son's help during dangerous excursions. He's an excellent archer. Let's trade. Visit the old wench in the village. Beware, she's a witch, but she may know some means of driving off Griggs. All right. Sir? Where would I find the witch? In a small hut by the tavern. She'll tell you how to drive off Griggs. I'd go myself, but she has the evil eye. Why do you think the Griggs are your troublemakers? I witnessed Griggs gallivanting about the divine statue by the bridge. They see the bridge as their territory. How about talking to them? Even if I could ward off the night demons, it would be pointless. Griggs don't speak with humans. Greetings, sir. Never mind the sir. I'm Geralt. Tis a true honor. Geralt. How are you with the bow? Best in the village. 
I can hit an apple at 50 paces. Great. Yes? Don't you want to be a builder like your father? Not really. When my father refurbished our hut, the doors wouldn't close. The stairs are such that even the cat fears them, and when it rains... I see. Besides, I prefer to use my bow. One day, I'll enter a tournament in Vizima. Good luck. Yes? Farewell. Sir? Farewell. If I were a rich man... Sir? I made a deal with the Griggs. I'm impressed. They won't bother you while you wear this four-leaf clover. Perhaps I can finish the bridge before the first snowfall. Your reward. I could use your son's help. He's brave, though not clever. He'll stay with you while you cross the fields. Thank you. The elf should leave the lakeside. He traded it at the store for a new sickle. Why are you telling me? Why not? Wads of paper. Witcher, those noon wraiths keep us from work in the fields. Well. Not for free, I know. May that miser Hoffman part with some coin to end this problem. Where did the noon wraiths come from? They are midday demons, appearing when the sun reaches its zenith. Even children know that. 
I'm happy to learn more. Noon wraiths are born of heat, grief, and the plowboy's sweat drops. They dance in the sun and draw in careless wanderers. No man has ever survived a dance with the noon wraiths. They depart when the sun sets and return when the sun reaches high in the sky again. Thanks for the tale. Witcher, those n- Well, not I must hurry. See you. I dislike all these visitors from afar. Benko found a treasure in his field. When? He was a when he played it something hard. What was it? A pot of gold? Parch. Yes? Why are you telling me? Come with me, boy. Bring your bow. All right, sir. I mean, Geralt. Yes? Come with me, boy. All right, sir. A customer. Why so surprised? Rarely do any buy arms in murky waters. I'm no salesman like my father. Your father? My father told me to sell arms. But if no one buys... Oh, but better not to argue with father. Maybe he wanted you busy. Perhaps. I'm to sit quiet and sell to those who want to buy. Greetings! Hello. How can I help the gentleman? Who might you be? Master Handyman, at your service. I handle repairs of all kinds, produce strange and non-standard objects, and am a capable creative blacksmith and carpenter. You're rather versatile. One has to survive, so I offer other services. Besides, I have an expensive hobby. A hobby? My kin and I yearn to build a flying machine. We built several already, but none worked. We had to cover the pilot's medical expenses. I see. Yes? Lean year ahead of us. What brings you here? A wonderful aroma. 
I'm cooking a traditional Tamarian sauerkraut stew. Any work for me? If memory serves, a witcher is like a magical warrior. I slay monsters, drowners, kikamores. I'll doubtless need you sometime. Any work? Yes, I'm having terrible trouble with my husband. What happened? That old fool found himself a succubus. Thinks I can't hear them frolicking at night. I'm to get rid of the succubus? I learned an old folk remedy from my mother. I'll need nine handfuls of glimmering dust from the hair of noon wraiths in the fields. What about payment? I have this herb manual listing local herbs. Bring me dust to scare off the succubus and you'll have the book. I'll take the job. Deal. Master Witcher. You must be an excellent cook. Oh, it's nothing. My husband slaughtered a pig, and I decided to make sauerkraut stew. I have other specialties. My stomach is rumbling. You're quite thin. I made ribs in mead yesterday. Care for some? Gladly. There you are, bless you. Remind me what to do? Bring me nine handfuls of glimmering dust from the noon wraiths in the field. These phantoms only come out in daytime. Farewell. I'm feeling under the weather. You, sir, step here. What is it? I overheard you speaking with my wife. I have an offer for you. Not interested in parting with your charming demoness? My wife exaggerates about the frolicking. As a man, you understand innocent entertainment harms no one. What do you propose? A fork spell will put the succubus to sleep for a while. My wife will calm down and afterwards, I can quietly awake the succubus. What do you need? Nine handfuls of shadow dust from devourers. They appear in the fields at night and are very dangerous. What will I get in exchange? I have red meteorite, which can improve your sword. Or perhaps you'd prefer gold. Say, 500 orins? I'll help. Not a word to my wife. You asked for help. What did you want me to do? Bring me nine handfuls of shadow dust. To do that, go to the fields and kill several devourers, from which you can scrape the dust. Farewell. Yes? Farewell. Maybe I should move. Witcher, those noon wraiths keep us from work in the fields. Well. Not for free, I know. May that miser Hoffman part with some coin to end this problem. I must hurry. See you. Take a good look, Mr. Witcher. You're not likely to ever see another cow like this, and... She is impressive. Look at that glistening coat. A tail! And that hoodie! Mm-hmm. We plan to mate her with a champion bull from Bullsville. Mm. That'll be something. A stock known round the world. No doubt. Ah, our strawberry is so beautiful. Later. Look here! A champion cow! Greetings. Hello. What be your moniker? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Lucky to have two witches visit us. Ha <laughs> ha! I, Tobias Hoffman, am the village chief. Ha <laughs> ha yourself. Beastie Beta, what brings you here? 
I wanted to talk to you about the Vodianoi. Julian's in charge of that business. Business? He fishes treasures from the lake, renovates them, and sends them to markets in Vesima. Any work for a witcher? A creature looking like a fish with legs appears by the lake. They say the crypt in the fields is home to a beast. It has huge teeth, resembles a dead mother-in-law. <laughs> Horrible, they say. Any reward for these creatures? Bring proof, and I'll be generous. The scimitar from the crypt. I've seen enough proof. Your 800 orans. Any work for a witcher? A creature looking like a fish with legs appears by the lake. They say the crypt in the fields is home to a beast. It has huge teeth, resembles a dead mother-in-law. <laughs> Horrible, they say. Any reward for these creatures? Bring proof, and I'll be generous. Tell me more. About what? Any non-humans around here? Elves live on the shore. Pretty disagreeable lot. I thought to give them leftover food. They looked at me so cold I nearly froze. They're a strange bunch. Still, I've enough to do here in the village without worrying about them. I heard there's going to be a wedding. Yes, my dear daughter Alina is marrying a gallant, hard-working and honest fellow. You know the joy that finding a good lad for your daughter brings? No? Thought not. Fighting is all your kind thinks about. That's not quite true, but... Listen, got any jobs for a witcher? There are more urgent matters. We'll need to discuss that another time. Any non-humans around here? Elves live on the shore. They're a strange bunch. I see. There's also the fish people. A scourge on our lives. How so? They got vicious, driving us away from the water, wounding some of us, and killing a few. Julian knows more. I'll have a talk with him. Beastie Beta? Farewell. Witchers prepare magic potions. Yes. I'm desperate for a boy's attention. Have you perfume? I'm not a walking perfumery. I know you can make perfumes. I'd gladly pay you 50 orins. Do witchers prepare magic potions? Yes. I'm desperate. I'm not a- I know you- Are you crazy? Good morning. Greetings. I'm Geralt the Witcher. Dandelion once sang a love ballad about a witcher. How heartwarming. Are witchers like knights, struggling against evil and villainy? Dandelion, I'm sure, described my profession realistically. The ballad was romantic. Lovers bound by destiny, unable to meet. Romantic indeed. I'm to marry soon. What brings you here? You taking care of Alvin? Yes. He has such beautiful, big eyes. Mm -hmm. Sadly, my husband-to-be won't adopt Alvin. Can I speak to Alvin? Yes, he'll be in the village, or helping around the house. Farewell. Wait, I have a request. If you happen to pass by the inn, 
would you be kind enough to look in on my fiancé and perhaps see if my sister Selena can be found anywhere? Your fiancé spending time at the inn? We're not speaking. He's very irritated. We argued about Alvin. Arguing already? Julian wishes us to have our own children. He wants to send Alvin to the Temple of Melitella, or to be trained as a witcher. You'll find him at the tavern. I see. Why do you seek me? Has Alvin been behaving strangely? He told some terrible stories. I thought him delirious. What did he say? Something about ghosts condemned to suffer eternally by unrequited love. It was so... Romantic, I know. I'll find him. Why do you seek me? Farewell. Hi, Geralt. I have a new home. It's nicer than Vizima was. It's just that I missed you. You like it here? I do! Are we gonna kill monsters together? Alvin, fighting monsters is very dangerous. Promise you'll avoid it whenever possible. I promise! There are elves around here. One is really beautiful, but she argued with Mr. Tobias. Can we play kill the elf? Boy, I really need to talk to you and Alina. It's not Alina. All the kids play it. I'm always the Grand Master. We'll talk later. Yes? How did you get to Murky Waters? I was playing with Shawnee when they came in. The leader had glasses and used strange words I couldn't understand. And what happened next? Shawnee screamed at the man in glasses. He told her she liked freaks, and he'd show her what a real man was. Mm-hmm. Shawnee cussed and kicked him in the... Right. Did they hurt her? No. The man in glasses started crying, and the others were afraid to get close to her, while she called them bad names. Shawnee's good at that. I feel sorry for the salamanders, but go on. I ran, and they chased me, and I was running so fast. But then I tripped, and they caught me. They put a sack on my head and led me somewhere. I was scared. More than in the outskirts. I shut my eyes and imagined I was far away from those people. Somewhere beautiful with the sun shining. And then Alina found me. I'm not lying. I believe you. I don't want to go back there, Geralt. It's all right. Let's see. I'll be good. I promise. You should stop playing Kill the Elf. I really like that game. I always win. Well, almost. Alvin. Okay, I'll stop. Yes? Be good. I'll see you later. Why do you seek me? Farewell. Greetings. I'm Adam. Geralt. I strive to compose a love poem for my beloved Alina. Ask Dandelion the poet. Supposedly he's pretty good. He said love would inspire me. He busies himself performing a diversionary maneuver. A maneuver? He's courting the miller's daughter to make Miss Arlene jealous. Clever, that one. Like a fox. Can I ask you something? Yes. Any elves around? They camp nearby, but look like nothing from epic poetry. Ill and starving. Many have perished. Are they peaceful? Entirely. Mr. Tobias sought to help them, but the she-elf leader refused human charity. Typical elves. Farewell. Come from afar, see? Yes? You're in love with Alina? You know she's getting married. I love her secretly, so you must be discreet. 
And marriage is never an obstruction to true love. Bye. Yes? How's your poem? Oh, oh, ahem. <clears throat> your hands, fine and slender, your hips, big and tender, all night and all day, spin my head a painful way. Enough. Speak no more. Yes? Bye. I love weddings. Old age is no jest. Oh, my back aches. Yet no rain clouds threaten. Will this drought never end? You'll only bring- I hope the elves leave this place as soon as possible. Somehow I can't forget the maiden on the lips. speak plainly. I like what I see and want to get to know you. How nice. I'm no easy lass, though. You understand a gentleman must court a lady, am I right? You are. Now that we know each other better, you should take the initiative and bring me something sweet. Stupid. Beastie Beta? Farewell.
Good morning, Witcher. Greetings. You look sad. My sister will wed a man she doesn't like. I have not to wear to the wedding, for our father expended his savings on his beloved daughter's dowry. Furthermore, it's hot as hell. But all goes well otherwise. Doesn't sound good. May I ask a question? Yes. Is your sister happy about getting married? She's happy. She has no concern for her younger sister. Elena doesn't deserve happiness. Oh, how I hate that nymphette! Now she's ensnared Julian, a wealthy town merchant, while she wanders about with her nose in the clouds. Don't worry. You'll find a good husband. Better than Julian? Not, woe I suffer for the masses, Adam. How pathetic. Or perhaps you mean the hermit? Such are my options. Did you see the engagement ring Julian gave Alina? A diamond larger than a pigeon's egg! Calm yourself. Why take her side? Admit it, she's dazzled you. Oh, how I despise her! She'll not have you. I'll give myself to you right now on the nearest rock. You merely need to give me a nicer ring than the one Julian gave Alina. I have the ring. Show me. It must be more beautiful than Alina's engagement ring. That's the ring. So be it. I'll show Alina I can have any man. But... Kiss me. All right. <laughs> How untrue that revenge tastes better served...
Carol, is that you? How are things? I found Alvin. Alvin? Wait a minute. Triss wanted me to do something, hammered it into my head for an hour. Oh yeah, I have a dimeridium amulet for him. Dandelion, I can't trust you to do anything. Is that so? Well, I just remembered I had a package for you. A package? I don't know. Something. But I might have lost it. Quit pouting, Dandelion. What do you have for me? Fine. I have a letter to you from your lover. Shani, hand it over. Gerald? What happened in Vizima after I disappeared? Who knows? I left soon after you. Though I did hear that you staged quite a bloodbath. Sometimes killing is necessary. Now don't get offended, but has killing people become a pleasure for you? I only kill humans in self-defense. <sighs> like the old days. Try as we might, we just can't seem to cull the population of vicious SOBs. I sense we haven't seen the worst of them yet. Be careful. I will. Gerald? What happened in Vizima after I disappeared? Who knows? Sometimes killing is... Now don't get offended. Salamanders and their kind deserve to die. I won't judge you. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. Gerald? What happened in Vizima... Who knows? Sometimes... Now don't... I have nothing against slaying humans. You've changed, for the worse. Thanks for darkening my day. Gerald? How do you like the country? It's wonderful. Wine, women, song and dice through the night. Dice? I've played. Didn't think the game was popular in the provinces. People here go wild for it. It's incredible. I doubt I'll find anyone who's a challenge. Try me. Some say I'm as good at poker as I am at poetry. I'll believe it when I see it. When I'm done with you, you'll be looking for solace among the elves. One of them's not bad, actually. See ya. <laughs> Gerald? I wanted to answer that letter. Good idea. I have pen and parchment. Think of a beginning. Dearest Shani. Your romance is blooming. I'm happy for you, Geralt. I don't want to talk about it. Now what? Something about Alvin? I'm sure she's worried about him. Maybe I can describe what's happening here in murky waters. She could find that interesting. Sit down and write it. The fisherman could take it to Vizima. <laughs> Want to beat it? Farewell. Your mother sacks dwarf cock. Gerald? How do I get the letter off? Best see the fisherman. He'll take it to Vizima. So, what will the new ballad be about? It'll be a masterpiece, in verse. Interesting, horrifying, romantic. And the story? Engaging and straight from life. I changed my mind, see? Poets don't need to embellish. Life is colorful enough. Aim to write about peasants working the fields? Dandelion, I know you better than that. Not as well as you think. You'll see. See ya. Gerald?
Yes, that smells vile. May I help you? I have questions. Ask, traveller. What's special about this settlement? Murky waters. We live in seclusion. Tobias Hoffman leads us. Know, too, that our ancestors once inhabited the underwater city. Tell me about Tobias. He lives in the village but prepares for a wedding, so likely has no time. I'll talk to him anyway. If he's occupied, try speaking with his future son-in-law, Julian. Thanks for the advice. May I help you? I have questions. Ask, traveller. What's special about this merc? The underwater city? Lake waters engulfed the underwater city. Some say the gods were angered by debauchery. Now the Vodianoi inhabit the city. Did I sense pride? We glory in our ancient heritage, just as we take pride in our prize-winning cow. As for our ancestors' bad habits, much has changed since then. Prize-winning cow. She's in the corral between the houses. Our pride and joy. She's made murky waters famous. Thanks for the story. May I help you? I have questions. Ask, traveller. What's special about... Murky waters. We live in seclusion. Tobias Hoffman leads us. Know, too, that our ancestors once inhabited the underwater city. The underwater city? Lake waters engulfed the underwater city. So Vodianoi? An ancient underwater race. We used to respect each other, but relations have worsened. Tell me about them. They appeared long ago, before the city was engulfed. They live in underwater palaces. They produce tools and baubles, including the famous Stones of Is, supposedly magical. Their warriors, though fierce in battle, seldom attack on land. They chiefly drive away treasure hunters. An underwater race of rational beings. Interesting. May I help you? Farewell. Greeting, sir. Spacious tavern. What? You think everything's small in the country? I meant no offense. How can I help? I saw your notice. Ah, I need wyvern eggs for my famous omelets. Here are three. Wonderful. Here's your coin. How can I help? Where's the village mayor? There's a large hut in the village where the mayor spends his time. But he lives in another large hut, so... I'll find it. How can I help? Any interesting news? A wedding, that's what. The mayor's daughter, Elena, is marrying a townsman called Julian. He's staying here at my inn. One thing. Yes? You must know some interesting stories. Sure, I'm an innkeeper. <clears throat> Long ago, in a valley far away lived a girl. She was a true princess, sorceress, and witcheress. All three? Isn't that a bit much? Don't interrupt. You want to hear the story or not? I won't interrupt again. A story about destiny might prove useful, witcher. She was born a princess who wanted for nothing, had loving parents and a grandmother who was a great queen. She lived in palaces guarded by hundreds of knights. Everyone thought she'd become a powerful queen, but fate had other plans. Her parents died. Enemies butchered her grandmother and took the kingdom. Still, the princess survived. Her fate became bound to one particular witcher. She gained a new family at Caer Moran the hold of the witches. She learned to fight, yet destiny once again made noise. The lass had magical talent. She was a source. 
The witchers are feared the uncontrolled power of a source and needed a sorceress to assist them. She studied arcane magic. The sorceress loved a witcher and the two adopted the girl. She was truly happy and could have become a powerful sorceress. But war broke out and fate separated the family. Aggrieved, the lass disavowed magic and became a huntress, learning to love killing. Death followed her. Everyone she'd loved had died. Only the witcher and the sorceress denied death's calling. Fate cast her to foreign shores, yet she returned. The worst assassin tailed her, yet she emerged victorious. Agents of all kingdoms pursued her, yet none caught her. When she killed all her enemies and peace descended upon the world, she rejoined the witcher and sorceress, only to have destiny sneer at her again. What happened? A peasant, unskilled in arms, killed the witcher. The sorceress died trying to revive him. The girl could do nothing, for she disavowed magic. So the princess who would not rule, the witcheress who fought humans, and the sorceress who cast no spells used her power as a means to leave this world. I sense you haven't told all. All but one. Her name was Cyrilla. What's that matter? One thing. Yes? You must know some interesting stories. Sure. I'm an innkeeper. <clears throat> All three. Don't interrupt. You want to hear the story or not? And she married a king, priest, mage, warrior, right? No thanks. How can I help? One thing. Yes? You look sad. Can I help? Perhaps. Crooked Lou and Bucktooth Bow stole a case of best fire water. Return it, and a useful artifact is yours. What artifact? It was a jest. Not funny. Your question reminded me of some old games. I couldn't resist. Hmm. No matter. How can I help? One thing. Yes? How can I help? One thing. Yes? Farewell. <laughs> How can I help? One thing. Yes? I'd like to rent a room. Sure. A bargain at seven orins. Oh! <laughs>
Greetings, Witcher. I've heard a lot of good things about your kind. That's rare. Usually people treat me like a leper. Not in my house. When I was a child, I heard many tales of a Witcher who saved my grandfather's life in exchange for a silver penny. That must have been a while back. I'm Geralt. Oh yes, in the olden days. I'm Julian. It's a pleasure. I'm here about the notice. I'll buy any basilisk hides you have. Reptile skin shoes are in fashion in Vizima, you know. I'll come and see you if I find any more. Hurry. No fashion lasts forever. Tell me the story of your grandfather. Grandfather, may Melitelli watch over his soul, had a plot of land. A piece of a rocky, frozen valley in northern Kovir, and a deserted coal mine with no coal. Grandfather always said that a treasure was concealed in the valley. He worked hard every year to discover that treasure. Initially, many gladly took the jobs he offered and helped. But soon it became clear that Grandfather had gone mad, that there was no treasure. When he was 47, had rheumatism and a collection of bobolac scalps above his mantle, he was overcome with grief and went outside. He began cursing the heavens, berating all the known gods in the foulest language he knew. The gods answered. There was a terrible rumble, and an avalanche descended on the valley. Grandfather regained consciousness, burrowed out of the snow, and looked around to see something that would change his life. The entire valley was glimmering strangely, glimmering so beautifully that he nearly didn't see the beast coming towards him with a heavy gait. Grandfather fled, bending over once to pick up a strangely glimmering stone. In short, he escaped. Descending from the mountains, he encountered a witcher who agreed to slay the monster in exchange for a silver penny. They returned to the valley and the witcher slew the beast. He could not help noticing the wealth laying in that valley, yet he demanded nothing beyond the penny promised him earlier. Grandfather grew to trust him and knew that sooner or later someone or something would come along and want to take his treasure, for the treasure in the valley was immense, Geralt. Diamond deposits that took years to extract, they became partners. The Witcher watched the workers, killed monsters, drove off bandits, and Grandfather managed the business. He's a legend in Kovir, and my family is wealthy and respected. That's the whole story. What's up? Soon I'll marry the village mayor's daughter, Alina. We're planning our wedding as we speak. I wanted to ask about Alvin. He needs a caretaker who is knowledgeable about magic. And neither I nor my future spouse are suited to be his guardian. I see. You should train him to be a witcher. You know not what you ask. For the time being, I'll keep an eye on him. Geralt? How can I help? One thing. Yes? Geralt?
How? One thing. Yes? Geralt? How can I help? One thing. Yes? Geralt? Yes? Geralt? How come? One thing. Good.
Gerald? See ya. Who's this, the famous Whitey? Shame not to fight you. You in? Take care. Who? The white-haired one in action. Indeed. Fight like a man. Beat me good, Whitey. A worthy reward. I ain't Greetings, Whitey. Got money, wanna fight? No way, not me. Such a long journey here. I must get soused. Come from afar. Greetings again, Geralt. Greetings, Abigail. You found a new home. I was welcomed with open arms. Their own healer died last winter. If you like, I'll betray to you their greatest secret. You haven't changed a bit. I've developed a special ointment, drawing on the old healer's recipe. It makes their cow's coat shine. <laughs> In truth, I have changed. What brings you here? For I cannot believe you missed me. Did you post this notice? About the devourer's teeth? I need ten for a love potion. Then I'm off to hunt devourers. I await your catch. What do you want? Why don't you live in the village? Witches live outside villages, as they always have. You must accept that. Abigail, remember the cave? The past is past, nothing more. Did you post this notice? About the devourers. Then I'm I wait.
Yes? Why do you seek me? I saw Julian and Selena together, but don't get bent out of shape. Selena's starved for attention. Julian didn't seem really interested. Selena can be unbearable, but she'll change if she marries. And Julian, well, he loves me, and no argument can change that. I merely wanted to be sure Julian was well, without him knowing or thinking I was concerned. Thank you, Witcher. Ah, uh, women. Why do you seek me? I'm looking for Alvin. The boy is Quicksilver. He's everywhere. If he's not in the village, go to the riverbank. Alvin likes it there. Thanks. What does he see? trouble. I was scared. 
Everything's all right. I know. Why were you playing by the river? I found a wounded dog. Shawnee says we should care for those who get hurt. What was I thinking? Pick up sticks? Maybe we could settle down together? Mm. At least I stopped short of proposing. Shawnee deserves someone normal. Someone who will care for her, not wander the world risking his neck for a handful of coin. I have no right to put her and Alvin in that position. I'm a witcher. Sometimes I truly regret. I miss them. Her. I have a gift for you. You like this dimeridium necklace? Well, necklaces are for girls. This'll keep your nightmares at bay. I wear one too. An amulet like yours! Do you want to live with Alina and Julian? I dream about Alina. I see her in the fields, dancing in sunlight, searching. She tells me to help, but I know we won't find anything. When I wake, I can't breathe and feel bad. They're just bad dreams, Alvin. Would you want to live with ordinary people? But just protect people like these. Simple, defenseless, normal. Put on the necklace. Dwan, look into my eyes. See your death. I don't need to hear this. You're not even human. Alvin. Now do you see the necessity of this action, no matter the price? Garrett, open your mind. Yes? Be good. I'll see you later. I'm glad to see you. What happened? Alina went for a walk in the fields and hasn't returned. I'm losing my mind. Get out, please help me. Fine. I'll go look for her. Thank you. From afar, see no signs of a wedding.
Hey, Geralt. These fields are great to play in. Do you have the necklace? I wear it constantly. Do you still have nightmares? Not when I nap during the day, but at night. I have strange dreams. You needn't tell me. I dream about Alina. I see her in the fields, dancing in sunlight, searching. She tells me to help, but I know we won't find anything. When I wake, I can't breathe and feel bad. They're just bad dreams, Alvin. Yes? Come with me, boy. Bring your bow. All right, sir. I mean, Geralt. Yes? Be good. I'll see you later. I definitely should. Yes? Be good. I'll see you later. For my beloved. Have you seen my shawl, Wanderer? I lost it. <clears throat> I'm to marry soon, but I must see my lover one last time. How sad he'll be if I bring him no sweet raspberries. Love is suffering, a pain that pierces my soul like a spear. Where is my beloved? Come rest in the sun. Dear sister, I cried on your shoulder. Why? Why do I feel so cold? Because you're dead, Alina. You lie! I shall scratch your eyes out! But... Help me! Help! Yes? Be good. I'll see you later.
You kill my beloved Alina! I didn't mean to! Lawyer, you were jealous of her! Die, murderer! Ah! Death follows. Who are you? A soul damned to wander the world forever. Who cursed you? I myself did, in killing my sister Alina, out of jealousy. Selina? Love denied. The sun denied. It burns! At night I sing my plaintive song. Witcher, can you hear me? You who are neither man nor ghost. Mortal whom death follows. Who are you? A soul damned to wander the world forever. Who cursed you? I myself did, in killing my sister Alina, out of jealousy. Selina? Love denied. The sun... Yes? Sheathe your dagger. She killed my Elena! I'll never see her again! Selina killed her sister? She confessed! They argued, and Selina pushed Elena. My beloved hit her head on a stone. It's too terrible. An accident. Selina told me, and I couldn't control myself! Selina envied Elena, was jealous of Julian and his wealth. She must be punished. Alina is not dead. She turned into a noon wraith. A oh, terrible! I must help her! Try not to do anything stupid. Yes? Adam, you look dreadful. How am I to look? My beloved is terrifying people. I killed a woman, and I'm a failure. Sorry.
Geralt? I was supposed to find Alina. Have you? Yes. That's wonderful. Is she all right? Sit down and have a drink. Alina is dead. She has turned into a noon wraith, a demon. Dead? I know it's hard, but we can't leave this as it is. People will start dying in the fields if I don't do anything about this. I see. Do what you can. I'll pay you. It'll be more than a silver penny. Do what needs to be done, Witcher. And if you can, make it quick and painless. I'll try. You know, I believe in reason, not in gods. Yet I prayed to Melitelli that Alina and I would meet again. I had a bad feeling. I repulsed it. I think I need time to accept the thought that my Alina is dead. Geralt, how did it happen? Selina killed her, probably by accident. She's dead too. How? Adam killed her. He was in love with Alina, lost control of himself and killed Selina. By all the gods, that's terrible. So much suffering. What did they do to deserve this fate? Geralt, please help them, and I'll make sure Adam is arrested. He must answer for his crime. Mm -hmm. I'll do what I can to help the sister's souls pass on. We shall speak later. Gerald? Dandelion, I need to figure out how to help Alina's ghost pass on. By some stroke of chance, Alina acquired a Nehalenya's mirror, a rare and powerful device used by prophets and oracles. It could foretell the future accurately, though sometimes confusingly. Alina consulted her mirror often. Asking who's the fairest of them all? Nehalenya's mirrors are either polite or broken. Exactly. I guess Alina's mirror wasn't polite. Maybe if... We find the pieces, reassemble the mirror and show it to Alina. She'll realize who she is. Call me when you need me. See ya. How much longer?